Good morning. I'm Yanni the Greek coming to you live straight from Las Vegas. It's Sunday, July 28th. We got some early Major League Baseball action. Not much else. Not like yesterday where we got down on boxing, MMA, Major League Baseball. Looking at some futures in football. I just got another trove of NFL college football. I vet them. And uh, then as I confirm, I'll send them out to subscribers. With that said, we turned the profit on Friday night. We turned the profit again yesterday, chipping away at 2025, 2024, excuse me, getting a little ahead of myself and uh, plenty of time to now and December 31st. If you want to see about our risk management, our year to date, our long-term results, make sure you check out yesterday's steam room. I do one of those at least once a week with subscribers. And we went over all the details of how our year is going, what baseball has cost us, what the goal is between now and the end of the year, where we stand over the last 365. How are we doing when you combine the last two years? How about when we go further back? So we went over a lot, a lot, a lot, because numbers do not lie. And transparency is first and foremost. And if you plan on doing this long term, you got to keep it real. You got to keep it real. And that's exactly what we do with the steam room each and every week. So I asked Wager Talk to make sure they get that video up because I get a lot of support here on YouTube. And I want to make sure you guys understand that I do go into results in detail. Win or lose, I am accountable to the guys that trust me to help partner with them and win long term. Now, with that said, I'm going to see, oh, you're not going to believe this yesterday. Unbelievable. So you know, my girl's gotten into, she helps me with the betting stuff. Obviously, sharp girl. So she picks up little stuff here, little stuff there. Make a long story short, she likes betting MMA. That's it. She doesn't bet anything else uh, yet. She just, UFC, that's it. So she'll throw in a, a parlay and uh, telling her stick with straight bets, stick with straight bets, throw a little lottery ticket in for a parlay. So what does she do? She gives me four bets to bet straight for her. She says, put these four in a small parlay. And then... She picks every fight. And I say, you know what? Make that your lottery ticket if you want. I'll throw that in for $25. So she bets like 100, 200 on straight bets. And then like a $25 4 fighter parlay. I think it was like $50 4 fighter parlay. A little more than she should have based on the straight bets. But again, she's gambling a little bit. So she threw in a $25 14 fighter parlay. I kid you not. I kid you not. You got to see this to believe this. Watch. Look at that ticket, right? I hope you guys can see that. Winner. Here's the ticket. Start right there. Winners, winners, winner, 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 winner. All the way up the blades. Look at the pay. Look at the pay. Almost 150 dimes. 150 dimes. Going into the Patty Pimblet fight. We had Patty big. That was a big play for me. A 4% play. Almost got upgraded to a 5% play. Had he not gone to a minus 130 favorite. It would have been a 5% play. I told you, I don't make 5% plays based on how I'm running or to sell packages. I make 5% when it's warranted. And I felt the edge was there on Patty Pimblet. But once the line got higher, the implied win probability was greater as well. So it's not as if my implied win probability increased on my end. So now I should make a bigger bet. I would have been cheating you. And just trying to sell shitload more packages. Because as soon as you say 5%, especially in MMA where I'm number one in profit, and I think six and one this year on those 5%, I would have sold tons of them, tons of them. But I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. We got to keep this real. Out of respect to those that trust me with their hard-earned money. And like I said, the partner with me in this business, I can't do it. But so, oh, I don't even know what that was. So what do we do? Check this out. I tell her, I wish you would have had um, the other side with, uh, of blades, who the hell did he, oh, 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 I wish he had Aspinall. I say, cause it would have been easy hedge on blades. Now with Aspinall, he's a minus 400 favorite. I could probably find a little better number, but we got a hedge. So I hedged like five dimes, five dimes. It costs like almost 20 dimes to win five, but yeah, we just got 150 dimes in equity. So I'm like, you know what? Aspinall's not going to lose this fight, even though I like blades. I saw how the line moved. That's why guys didn't get a two, 3% play on blades. It just didn't look good. It, it, it was not, the setup wasn't, wasn't right for blades. So I say, you know, let's go five more. Let's go five more. And at least you lock in some profit. 
um, if you don't hit this 14 fighter parlay. And of course, what happened, Blades loses. So we hit the hedge on the Aspinall side. But the reason I bring that up is this. There's a lot of betters that just would have rolled the dice and said, I have the, I have so much equity. I've got the books by the balls. I'm not going to let them go. I'm never going to hedge it. That's nonsense. We live in the real world where we all have bills. We all have responsibilities. So if she could lock in 10 dimes or to not risk rolling the dice for 100 plus, 150, what have you, over a $25 bet, you're crazy. I said, you're nuts. If you don't lock in a, a nice profit, getting that many right on a ticket, you're, you're nuts. It's like, you may never get to that opportunity again. Like you, you got to do the right thing and not gamble. And of course, then Edwards lost. And that's what pisses me off because I, I love the Bala side, not love, but I, I was I felt strong enough that I bet half of my bankroll on UFC on the line on Bala Muhammad. But when I was trying to upload it into the wager talk system, I couldn't get online. Like that's the problem with to the subscriptions, like with having to put it in and that shit. And it just pissed me off so much. It's my fault. I should have confirmed it earlier in the day, not making any excuses, but I hate when one gets away that we really were on the right side with Bilal. Uh, but if you've been following the gambler's perspective, what did we do last night? Nine straight winning shows, nine straight winning weeks. We only pimblet last this uh, yesterday show. The week before we went two and zero oh, with the under three and a half, under two and a half in the Jandaroba. But if the yesterday we only had pimblet as a best best. But that, now that makes it nine straight winning shows. Next week I'm going for number ten. So I really got to isolate some damage. With that said, let's dive into today's games because I know we have some early action. So let me get you those baseball winners. You ready? When could, what could I put you on? What could I put you on? All right, I'm going to put you on Colorado, Colorado. Now, I split up the money line and the run line. I went 2% money line, 2% run line. We even bet the first five money line and run line. You don't feel comfortable uh, with that type of risk? Manage it how you feel best. What I do is work for me over the last decade. I'm not going to switch it up. So we fire like this for the groups. I'm going to fire like this for myself. And I went 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%. Obviously, we bet 0.25 of that. So it's not like as if we're putting a bunch of our bankroll out there on the Colorado side. Money line, run line, game, first five. So follow, fade, ignore. I'm just sharing some gold with you um, from the betting syndicates. And anytime they bet it like that, you got to pay attention. Just like that uh, Cleveland, Philadelphia total. When they go under 10, under nine and a half, under nine, you got to pay attention. So that's Cleveland, Philly, under Colorado, uh, money line, Colorado, run line, Colorado, money line, Colorado, run line, first five. Ah, take Cleveland too. We got Cleveland on the money line, Cleveland on the run line as well. So we've been firing today on some goals. Cleveland, Colorado, under Cleveland, Philly. Whether you follow, fade, ignore, I just hope you cash them, don't trash them. Now, I don't have questions stuff because we didn't have a uh, live show yesterday, but I just want to thank you all for your continued support. Please go down, smash that like button. Hit me up with some comments and questions as we try to keep this going. Um, football's coming. I believe the uh, Hall of Fame games what, next week, the week after that. And then the preseason football is upon us. Oh, wow. A Jonas Woods and Banksy are available at Masterworks. Wow. I've got a couple Banksy's. Okay. All right. Looks like that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy the games. Hope you do some damage. Enjoy the time off. And uh, we'll be back, like usual, on Monday.